Hello, we are here at the Siam Convention and we have with us Mr. Vinod Dagrawal, President Siam and MD and CEO of Volvo Aishir Motors. Sir, thank you for joining us. Uh, sir, first I would like to know about the two announcements that Mr. Nitin Gadkari has made recently. First, he said that, you know, in the next two to three years, I, the price parity between ICE and EVs will be same. So, in your opinion, as the head of CM, how, uh, how do you think the industry will be able to achieve that? No, I think fundamentally he has given the direction that uh, if the volume goes up, then, of course, the volume leverage benefit will start kicking in. So, so I think he had drawn this conclusion based on the uh, battery prices dropping and then volume benefit coming in. And uh, definitely, if all those things, when the volume goes up, you will see that advantage coming in. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, when it comes to electric vehicles, automakers are anticipating subsidies. The government has also announced that, you know, FAME 3 will be coming in, in the next three, two to three months. So, in your opinion, for electrification to take place, how important are subsidies? And do you think that industry has reached a point where subsidies are no longer required for electrification to take place? You should look at uh, the current penetration levels. For passenger cars, it is still 1.5% to 2%. And uh, for two-wheelers, it is around 45 to 5%. So, therefore, uh, we are still at a very nascent stage. The volumes are very less. Uh, so therefore, for the initial phase, uh, till the time the volumes reach a particular level, when the volume benefits also start kicking in, I think to support the uh, initial, uh, you know, uh, increasing the volume to a minimum level, I think subsidies will play an important role. So therefore, that is why government is also thinking of coming up with FAME 3. I think that is required at this point of time. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, now, moving on to another announcement that Mr. Garkari has made a couple of days back. Uh, regarding 3% discount on scrapage of poet vehicles. So, uh, we would like to understand that, you know, what is in store for the industry with this policy and how is auto industry going to benefit from this policy? I think, first of all, we must understand that scrapage uh, of old vehicles, old polluting vehicles, it is very, very important. So, therefore, uh, industry, uh, all the companies, uh, they have taken this step in the right earnest and uh, so that we encourage people who are having old vehicles to come forward to scrap the vehicles. And uh, once they scrap the vehicles, then of course they will replace uh, with the better vehicles. It means there will be incremental sale to that extent. So that is first benefit. First benefit is that there will be incremental sale when the scrap is happen, then someone will buy a new vehicle. So that is number one. Number two advantage is the from the recircularity of the material. So all the material uh, when the uh, vehicles are old vehicles are scrapped, it will generate scrap for steel, aluminium, plastic, rubber, various other parts. So all that material will be recirculated. So once that material is recirculated, that will also have the impact on the environment as well as the lower cost for those materials. So that also will benefit the industry. So, therefore, I would say the longer term, uh, this policy definitely is a very good policy for the sustainability from sustainability point of view and also for the industry growth. Thank you so much, sir. I would also like to understand that, you know, can the discounts be extended or the scope of this discount can be extended from beyond, from 3% to beyond 3%? As of now, uh, the companies have given their individual uh, discount levels and uh, then of course it is the market forces uh, that determine uh, that how much discount can can be so I, I think I would not like to comment on that at this point of time okay sir uh, sir moving on to an issue which has been you know a concerns for dealers that you know fada has been saying that you know the the, deal, uh, the dealers are um, are dealing with unsold inventories. So, um, I would like your comment on how does Siam want to, uh, uh, Siam is planning to address this issue. I think uh, this is not an issue of Siam. Yeah. This is an uh, issue between uh, 
directly the concerned company and the dealers. So wherever uh, if there is any high stock with any dealer, I think uh, that dealer has to take up with the OEM concerned because it cannot be addressed uh, on the industry level because it is not the industry situation. This is the situation for individual dealers and individual companies. So it is best addressed uh, directly by them rather than some getting into it. Do you think that only some companies and some dealers are uh, you know dealing with this issue and not the entire industry? I'm sure it is only the some. It is not the it is not the entire industry. And uh, this is also uh, this stock going up or coming down. These are also short term phenomena. Because production happens in anticipation of the demand. Suppose uh, there was anticipation uh, and then the uh, vehicles were produced in anticipation. Uh, sometimes if the sales are less than anticipation, then uh, it will lead to high stocks. But at the same time, then you automatically correct the production in the next month. You don't, don't continue to produce, no. If there is sale is less, then the production gets adjusted. Then uh, next month uh, or in one or two months, the inventory should get corrected. And now in any case, we are expecting the festive season to start kicking in. And with the festive season, there will be more sales. And with that, I am sure the inventory will get corrected. Okay, sir, coming on to festive season, like you have partly answered that, you know, um, that you are expecting sales in festive season. So I would just want to understand that how much sales are you expecting from rural um, market? Because in the past few months, rural demand has picked up. So what are your expectations in terms of that? That's a very good sign that the rural markets have started doing better. Um, still, it is not uh, fully confirmed or jury is still out that uh, rural markets are fully out of uh, their you know, lower numbers. Uh, but there are signs of revival. Like we have seen the two-wheeler sales or the scooter sales going up, which is a good sign. And uh, and the fundamentals also, I think, they are in favor of rural markets uh, doing better because monsoons are better, rural income levels should be better. So, therefore, we are very optimistic that the rural economy will do better and that will contribute to better auto sales. Thank you so much, sir. Now, moving on to last couple of questions. First is, uh, there has been a sluggish demand in the small car segment that has been a concern for the industry in general. Do you feel that this trend, trend will continue in FY25 as well? It's very difficult question, but overall, if you look at overall car market, overall car market last year was 4 million plus. So, overall numbers are, uh, I would say, respectable. Now, within overall market, uh, there are some segments which are lower, some segments are higher. Like SUVs and utility vehicles, uh, the markets has, have gone up significantly. Whereas the sedans or entry-level vehicles, uh, uh, there are still, uh, you know, uh, lower numbers. Uh, that may also be one of the reasons also could be the rural demand. Uh, so, therefore, uh, I think uh, we are looking forward to better situation and uh, I don't think there is a, overall we see there is a much concern on that. Okay. Sir, but last question would be that what is your outlook for FY25? It's better only because uh, economy is doing well and, uh, and first five months have not been so good. But of course, balance seven months we are expecting to be better because festive season and lot of, uh, you can say, the uh, government of India's uh, capital expenditure will also start happening now because first five months that also has been less. So, therefore, we will see more action uh, happening. So, we are expecting better economy in the balance part of the year. Any projections if you would like to I give us? I would like to give okay. any projections on that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching us.